Hey, Hunter here from Unity Manufacturing. I'm here in my garage in Columbus, Ohio to talk to you about my dog bones or torque wrench adapters that I'm gonna demonstrate how to use my 1975 Harley shovel head. What are dog bones? Well, dog bones are actually torque wrench adapters and I use them to torque down my cylinder nuts and my head bolts. I originally made these because I was rebuilding this motor right here and I couldn't figure out exactly how to get a torque wrench on these hard to reach fasteners. There's a very thin wall in between the cylinder nuts and the cylinder and same thing with the heads. I was struggling to figure out how I'm gonna actually torque this down. I wound up borrowing a set of homemade dog bones from my friend. And, you know, it got me thinking, if I need these and he made them and I needed them, I had some other friends who needed them too. Well, there's a lot of people out there that probably need these as well. So I worked with a friend right here in Ohio and he laser cut these for me out of AR500. It's a really tough steel, it's an armor plating. You need something really strong because you have to have a really thin wall right here in order to be able to fit between the cylinder and the nuts. This comes in a set of three. It comes with 5 8 7 16 9 16 These are the most common sizes for shovel heads, pan heads, knuckle heads, iron heads. These will allow you to torque everything down properly the first time and then check it again after a couple hundred miles to make sure everything is still tight and hasn't loosened up. So these are really handy if you're working on motors, rebuilding top ends. It's nice because they're very small, they flat pack. I carry a set with me in my tool roll on my bike. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use these. I have the 5 eighths here for my cylinder nuts. My torque wrench comes with a uh, 3 eighths socket driver hole. Fits your torque wrench really easily. Slide it on. And the key with this is you wanna have it at a 90 degree angle. Uh, this 90 degree angle is going to give you the most accurate reading on your torque wrench and make sure you don't over torque or under torque your fasteners. Then you just slide it right here and make sure it's twisted the right way. And then you can set your torque setting to whatever it needs to be. In this case, I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to be liable for anyone not torquing their stuff down properly. And then you go until it clicks. And then that's it. It's that easy. I have my 9 16 here. It's the same idea as the 5 8 for the cylinder nuts, except I'm gonna to torque down my head bolts. And right, again, you wanna make sure that this is at a 90 degree angle to give you the most accurate reading. Slide it on, and then you just go until it clicks, and then you're done. If you're gonna be rebuilding the motor, you definitely wanna pick up a set of these made in the USA dog bones at lowbrowcustoms.com, where you can find a bunch of other Unity manufacturing parts and tools. Thanks for watching.